Good morning. Welcome to Saturday Mornings, Early Morning Intuitive Guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, and we have a card today that I actually ended up adding a few chunks to. Two cards stuck together, so we have two cards there. But also, I was reading the, the signature card, and there's some useful things on there I want to share. Plus, Good morning, Carolyn. Welcome, welcome. The back, the, this is a card deck where the back of the cards simply must be shared. Simply must be shared. So, let's start with the back of the card, just because I think it, it kind of made me smirk in terms of how it fit in with the rest of the pieces. So, here's the back of the card. It is the Wild Offering deck by Tosha Silver. And if you, again, if you haven't read Outrageous Openness or... Um, any of her other books actually please do so because they are lovely and let's see someone just shot past me I think it was Peggy <laughs> good morning Peggy glad you are here but this is Ganesh good morning Cindy welcome glad you're here and Ganesh is the overcomer of obstacles yes it was Peggy that's what I thought awesome welcome glad you're all here overcomer of obstacles love that all right so that was that was kind of our start Wild Offerings deck, Tosha Silver. The art is by Casey da Katie Daisy. And actually, on the card, that is sort of the introduction card. I love the little flowers around the edge. I just think that's so fun. So there was a part in here I wanted to share, which is about surrendering. The reason she created this deck in the first place was encouraging us to practice surrendering, turning things over, um, etc. So let's. I just want to read this. Offering all to the divine with complete and utter abandon. How good are we all at a complete and utter abandon? I can use practice. Don't know about you guys. When you fully surrender any topic to the divine, you begin to release a tremendous burden. You no longer have to solve the problem from the ego. And I'm going to suggest to you that trying to solve the problem from the ego is banging your head against the proverbial wall because <clears throat> that's trying to solve the problem from the same mindset that created it in the first place, okay? You no longer have to solve the problem from the ego. You no longer have to micromanage the entire issue. You immediately feel lighter. The right help and actions amazingly get shown at the right time. And I've had a plethora of experiences with that recently, including my sister coming to the rescue yesterday with a whole carload of food, which was lovely because then I didn't have to cook. Yay! So, and we made some headway on, on the house we're flipping and that felt good. So, and I like this idea of the right help and actions amazingly get shown at the right time. It may not be at all what you expect in terms of, um, things that are going to help rectify the situation, but whatever's meant to come shows up. And when we're open to receiving it, however it shows up, makes it quicker for it to show up. Good morning, Judy. When we're constantly in this state of, I have to fix it, um, only me, nobody else could fix this, or um, there's only one right answer, this is how it has to be fixed, we lose sight of all the other options that are around us. And for any particular circumstance, there's multiple options. There's always multiple options. So let's do our cards for today. Again, we got two and there's Ganesh, double Ganesh. How awesome is that? Overcoming obstacles, fabulous. But our cards are clarity and gratitude. Clarity and gratitude. And clarity was on the top, so we're going to read that one first. But let's take a couple of nice deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And I don't know about you, but I am noticing that I can breathe much more deeply and easily now that the air quality has improved. Otherwise, it was inhale and cough, cough, cough. cough. <laughs> so I'm very grateful that the air quality is much better. So here's the first one, clarity. Let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide the way. What I love about this card, the clarity card, is it fits in beautifully with the card we had the other day where it's calling us to go within for our answers. 
Stop searching out there. Go within. Go within. Again, divine feminine. Divine masculine is that search out there for answers. Divine feminine is the going within, being still, allowing. And if you're like me, you need practice with that. Especially when things get particularly hairy, it takes a bit to um, shift gears and go within. We, we pop into fix-it mode pretty easily. But to be able to go within and listen in the stillness, what am I meant to do? Nothing? Okay, nothing. I'll just sit with this for a while. Again, not all difficult circumstances are problems that need to be fixed. Sometimes they just need to be weathered for a better way, way of putting it, just kind of biding time and allowing things to unfold in divine right order. So that's the clarity card. And now we'll do the gratitude card. Because I think oftentimes gratitude is the answer to whatever it is we're struggling with. Gratitude. Find one thing that you feel grateful for right now. Okay, so go ahead and do that. I'm going to pick the fact that I can breathe deeply now. That I'm grateful for that now. Yes. So pick, find just one thing that you feel grateful for right now and let that gratitude pour through your body. So let's do some breathing on that. Nice deep belly breaths. Breathing in gratitude. Every exhale, moving that gratitude through every cell of your being. Breathing in gratitude. Every exhale, moving that through every cell of your being. Just keep it going. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Where do you feel the gratitude most in your body? Some people will feel it in their heart. Some might feel it in their throat. Some might feel it in solar plexus. Where in your body do you feel gratitude the most? I'm actually feeling it in my hands the most right now. Gratitude is a healing balm like the warmth of the sun. And how many times, how often does many of you, when you're greeting me in the morning, put sunshine in there? The sun is a healing thing. It's a healing thing. So soak up some warmth of the sun today. Sit on Mother Earth when she's warm from the sun, soaking up her energy, drawing in energy from the breeze. There, everything and anything can be a source of feeding you. Good morning, Donine. Glad you are here. Welcome, welcome. We are practicing gratitude today. And we also did clarity. Clarity and gratitude. And I love how they fit together, especially in light of the card I read at the beginning, which is surrender. Turn it all over. Let it all go. Put it in the hands of God. Lovingly and kindly put it in the hands of God. Okay, so Spirit's going to take care of this. Creator's got better answers than I do. Yes. Thank you, Cindy. Clarity. Let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide the way. Isn't that lovely? And then the gratitude one. Find just one thing that you feel grateful for right now and let that gratitude pour through your body. It's a healing balm like the warmth of the sun. And we all could use some of that right now because our world is kind of sticky and difficult. And <clears throat> so I, for one, am taking a hiatus from a lot of social media, from news, from whatever. I'm going to be unsubscribing to, let me see, what feels good? 10. 10 what popped into my head. I'm going to be unsubscribing from 10 things that put news in my face that I'd rather not attend to right now because much of it I can't do anything about anyway and stirring myself up over the dismal state of some things and I'm going to say some things because and Michael Moore does a fabulous job of this he talks about there's so much stuff that's going right there's so much stuff that's going well there's so many good people out there but if you read the news you aren't going to find them you might find one little story at the end of this horrendous newscast about something good. I'd rather have the whole newscast be good stuff. When we pay attention to what we want, we get more of that. When we steep ourselves in the yuck, we get more yuck. I need a hiatus from yuck. Done with the yuck. 
Good morning, good morning. Glad you are here. So, my call to action for you today is to surrender something to spirit. Turn it over, let it go, stop fretting about it, you put it in good hands, see what unfolds. See what unfolds. You may see doors opening that previously you were blind to. Step through those doors. When a door opens and it feels right to your soul, step through it. Step through it. That will move you toward that clarity that you're seeking. Practice gratitude. When we come from a place of gratitude, much more shows up in our lives for which we can be grateful. Let's practice. So have an awesome day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.